So basically, ladies and gentlemen, in this case, you can see we have a term multiplied by this expression. And that product is equal to 0. So anytime you have the product equal to 0, you can apply the zero product property, basically saying negative x equals 0 or 3x plus 5 equals 0. That's all you simply do. Have the product, set them both equal to 0. Now you just go ahead and solve for x. So in this case, you divide by negative 1, x equals 0. In this case, you need to subtract 5 on both sides. 3x equals negative 5, divide by 3, divide by 3. x equals negative 5 thirds. Now, sometimes, yes? Why would you divide by 1? Because technically, we don't, we're not solving for negative x. We're solving for x. So you want to make sure that x is positive. You also could have multiplied by negative 1. Well, because in, in reality, this x is being multiplied by a negative 1. When it's negative x, it's technically like negative 1x, right? Um, the also thing I want to introduce to you guys is um, set notation. You guys might see that. You guys might see this on your um, test as far as your answer solutions. So just note that this is what we call a solution set. Basically, these are your two solutions. These are the two values that make your product equal to 0. Sometimes you'll see them as a set. Basically, you'll have these brackets that contain all of the solutions of the problem. Okay, So when you guys are giving your answer.